Hey guys, it's me, Christina, and I have a book review on The Golden Lily by Rochelle Mead. This is the second book in the Bloodline series, a spinoff to the Vampire Academy series, which I loved. Um, and this book was awesome. Let's just say, um, it was so crazy, like, a lot of things happen in this book. So, um, when we first see Sydney, she is having a meeting with the alchemist about Keith, and, like, he's, like, they're talking about re-education, and then Sydney sees this guy who wants to become a Stragoi. He's completely human, but he wants to become one. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with that? That's crazy. And these alchemists are weird. Like, they are just weird. And we find a lot of other things information later on that's just crazy and so she gets back to Palm Springs and Angeline has been causing some trouble and if you remember um, in the Vampire Academy series she was one of the keepers like she was um the girl keeper and uh, I really like her as a character she's really like crazy in a funny way and she did some crazy things so she's back uh sydney's back at palm springs and they're doing research about like this the stragoi and what why um in bloodlines why the stragoi don't like sydney's blood and they want to take some of sydney's blood but she doesn't want them to she doesn't like that idea and I mean she doesn't want to know that there's something different about her and Miss uh, Tilwigger uh, is like still like making her do like these spell things and I love her because she's she's like funny in like a weird way because like she wants Sydney because she is a witch and she thinks that Sydney is has some powers and she ends up using magic but um, it's way later in the book and so they have some problems okay so uh, they're like Sonia and Sydney are attacked by a, with like this crazy person and swords and Oh my god, it's weird. And then Sydney wants to take self defense classes and Adrian goes with her and I love Adrian. Like he's he's hilarious. Uh there's like this one scene where Sydney is at like the his place and there she's like, uh, I told you to get me diet pop and and she He's like, well, I read some health stuff, so I'm saving you. And like, and Sonia's like, are you diabetic? And Adrian's like, no, she's worried that she'll gain like a pound. And I do like what Adrian said at the end about Sydney, like, like, why, like, concerned, like, about like her health. And she's like, he's like you need to stop with all this crazy stuff you're beautiful like you don't need to go crazy with like your health and stuff and because she doesn't like sugar or anything fatty or like bad for you and I thought that was really sweet of him to like be concerned about her well-being uh, but anyway going back into the story um, Trey sets Sydney up with a guy named Brayden. Okay, I just have to say, Brayden is the douchiest character I have ever read. He thinks he is so much better than everyone else, and the last scene with him was hilarious because it was just. I don't know if I can find it, but, um. Um, yeah, I did find it.
Okay, so um, if you haven't read this, um, I just don't continue. Uh, so she's he's breaking up with her, and I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna read this after. Okay, so Sydney and Brayden start dating, and she's not sure really if she likes him because every time she kisses him, she doesn't really feel anything. And he smells like coffee, and I really think that is the only reason why she likes him. And he's very rude, and, like, at the Halloween dance, he mostly called her a prostitute. And because Adrian is like, who could ever look at you and think you were historically inaccurate? And I'm just like, he loves you. Why can't you see that? He likes you. And then... It was so funny because you can, s Jill was like always like, oh, Sydney, you look so good today. And I, I'm pretty sure that through the bond between Adrian and Jill, that she was going, like Adrian was like fawning over Sydney through Jill. And I thought that was funny. And then Sydney's like, I think Jill has a crush on me. <laughs> And I thought that was funny. So, like, this whole sword thing, we think that there are hun hunters, like, that are planning. Like, they used to be with the Alchemists, and, but now they're not because they're freaking crazy. Oh, and they, they think, um, Sonia is a still Strigoi, and she is hiding it. Oh, and Trey is involved. Like, what the hell? And, oh my god, it's just so much information. So, Sonia is kidnapped. And, uh, so when she figures out it was, like, Trey, she calls Eddie, and then she has to do this tr tracking spell, and she's not sure if she can do it, and then she does it, and then, oh my god, it craziness and ugh. and so they find Sonia and they're like talking about like well we finally got to go okay I have read when I was there was like m when Sonia was a Strigoi and in Vampire Academy I read those people would legit be dead and the they're literally fighting to the death to see who is going to kill Sonia so every the others like come in and they they put a tracking device on Sydney and then Sydney uses like these spell things and potentially like blinds um Adrian in the process and uh and oh my god and when they were taking self defense and he stopped and he made like excuse and but he didn't want to like touch her and I was just like oh I feel so bad for him. And the car? Oh my god. Like, he got that car mostly for Sydney to, like, she was always in awe of it, and he can drive it, but she was still teaching him because he's like, well, I don't know how to drive. And she's like, well, I'll teach you. And <laughs> it was so cute. And... She's like, did not even see that Adrian had feelings for her, and I mean, I could see it because it was pretty obvious in some parts, and at the end, oh my god. Um, so everyone's like safe and after, and um, Jill might have feelings for Eddie, except Eddie now has feelings for Angeline. And it's going to be this weird circle thing. I really hope Eddie and Jill get together because that'd be so cute. Um, because I like them together. I think they're very cute because she um, ended things with Micah. And uh, I really didn't. He wasn't like, he wasn't like my top choice for Jill. So I was like, I want Eddie to be with her. And... Um, Oh, yeah, and the whole Brayden thing, I just don't like him, like, at all, and he dumps her at the end, and oh my god, it was so funny, because he's like, 
Uh, don't go crazy. I, I, I'm gonna find it because. Okay, so he's like, this won't take on. I know you probably have. Okay. Sydney, he says, I don't think we should see each other. I stopped mid slip. Wait, what? I know how devastating this is probably for you, he added. And I admit, it's hard for me. But in light of events, it's become clear you aren't ready for a relationship yet. And he mostly called her irresponsible. And, um,. Yeah, and the end with Adrian, like, how, and then he, he kisses her and she goes, like, oh my god, we can't do this, it's wrong, so I love this book, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review, I'll see you guys next time, bye guys, happy reading.